Welcome everybody. Um, so Rob a, sent out a message on his first day back at work, which was very motivating, and I wanted to ask him a few questions about that. <laughs> Thanks for taking the time, Rob. Um, I read your welcome back message with real interest. I found it really motivating. Um, of particular interest was the three rules um, that Albert Einstein quote. Something about simplicity and finding harmony and something about what lies in the middle of difficulty. Tell us why that was so powerful for you and why you thought it was important to share with us. Well, first, I'm not, I'm not Albert, Albert Einstein and Rob Abrams, so uh, I've got my own interpretation. I think the first one here, the clutter find in the, you know, out of clutter find simplicity. Uh, you know, getting back to work, to me it's, it's, a, it's a matter of being organized. You know, you can't function, business can't function successfully if we aren't organized. So it really appealed to, to everybody to, to be a little more organized, clear their desk, clear their mind, just get ready you know, for another exciting year. The, uh, from this court, find harmony, you know, business about people. <clears throat> and um, it's a New Year's resolution. So uh, I guess I'm encouraging everybody to leave the baggage of last year in last year. This is a new year. Let's turn over the page. Let's uh, open a new book, uh, have a bit of fun. So uh, that was that. And then lastly, in the middle of difficulty lies opportunity. Bites is an, op an optimistic company. Uh, I'm sure you'll agree with us. So, you know, I look forward to 2015. I think it's going to be a great year again for us. And uh, welcome back and Happy New Year, everybody. It was really around that uh, resolution. That those are the three components of, uh, of my New Year's resolution, which I hope I keep this year. And I suggest the company does the same. Thank you. So, so how are we doing? How are the bikes doing as a business? We're doing great, but we could do a lot better, I've got to tell you. So, yeah, we've been very fortunate. We've, um, we've been doing well for, for some time now, eh? so um, we can do so much better. And, uh, you know, if I look at the year ahead, I think the, uh, the, the glasses are full. Uh, it's definitely not half empty, and I know it's we're living in a tough world and it's a bit confusing and cluttered and there's, uh, the business is not as old, the market is not as harmonious as it should be, but there's huge opportunities ahead of bites and uh, so I'm optimistic. That's great. You know, with bites, I've been with the company for five years now and I've certainly seen that there has been consistent growth every year and it's, it's certainly very rare in business. Um, so how do we do it? How do you do it? Well, firstly, it's, Bites is not a one-man thing. We, we, we are uh, a one-man show. We are a team. And um, we're very lucky. So if you, we Ultron born and bred. So Bites has been around for, for some time now. So we've learned how to win and how to please our customers. And I think if I had to sort of, sort of look for reasons why, it's our strategic philosophy. It's it's all about looking after customers. It's it's about employing the best people. Um, and there's five and a half thousand IT professionals working in Bites. And um, and I think we focused on our customers. We do that on a consistent basis. Not some of the time. All the time. Yeah. Customer comes first. Customer second. Customer comes third. It's very important to us at Bites. We represent the world's leading brands. It's part of our strategy. Um, so we have the best partners uh, in the IT industry supporting us, which is a big help. So, you know, I think the strategic philosophies of the group uh, are very much part of the, the bite psyche, and I think that's why we do well. And if you had to isolate just one thing, one main contributing factor to that consistency, that, go that consistent uh, growth, what would that be? Our strategic, repeatable, competitive advantage, why are we, I think, different to the bunch? It's because we attract the best people. And we retain the best people. And numbers don't lie. If you, if you look at the business, if you look at the performance of the business on a consistent basis, as you mentioned it a moment ago, 
we, we lead through satisfied customers. And I think that's because of the people that we employ. So I, I think the big difference, why bites? It's bites people. And uh, that's the truth of the matter. So you say numbers don't lie. So what, what are the numbers like? <laughs> They're good. Um, they can always be better, as I mentioned a moment ago. Just great. Came back from, from holiday from the December break, and we've had a, we've had a great December. We had a fantastic December in, 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 in 13, 2013. We've had an even better one in 2014. It's wonderful. Wow. So, yeah, the, the, the numbers look okay. Um, I think we set a realistic target for ourselves, a good budget, a budget that we could meet this year, and uh, it seems to be bad enough okay. There's certainly work to go to get to those budgets. Yeah. Who, who, the people who do that work, who do we thank and why, why do we thank them? Oh, what do we think? Why? We <clears throat> we've got six weeks to go, and then the financial year is completed, and we start a new one. And as you know, we have to play the full 90 minutes, full 80 minutes. So we've got six weeks to go. So it's a bit early to thank anyone. Um, but if I do sort of predict until the end of the year, I think we're going to do well. Again, and if I had to thank, I thank the people. I thank firstly our customers. Our customers once again have supported us, uh, and you know, without their support, we wouldn't be this nine and a half billion rand business, uh, the biggest IT company on the African continent. In fact, the Altron TMT IT assets combined are nine and a half billion. You know, big number. Soon it'll be ten. And um, we must thank our customers who've been with us from the day, some of them from the days they, they opened their doors. The, the biggest banks in this country, the biggest retailers in this country, uh, have been our customers from day one. So I'd like to thank them, thank them for their, for their support. I'd like to thank our people. Uh, without them, there's no business either. So I'd like to thank each and individual bikes employed for their contribution. It's appreciated. I'd like to thank our partners, those global suppliers that I mentioned, and of course I'd like to thank the owners of this company. Without them, you know, they empower us, they give us enough rope, and uh, and those are the people I thank at the end of this year, when we again show another year of profitable revenue growth. Yeah, those are the people. Great, thank you, Robin. When those numbers are out, I think we'll have another chat. We'll have a party. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.